What do Morse code, Braille, and binary numbers have in common? Let's find out today at the House of Hacks. Hi makers, builders, and do-it-yourselfers, Harley here. As I think about different videos I want to do in the future, certain areas of knowledge seem to recur. They're somewhat foundational. I plan on doing a couple series on these foundational topics, but don't worry, I'm not going to do them exclusively. I'll, do, I'll intersperse them with my normal projects and other tutorials. This is the first episode of the first of these series. And now to the topic at hand. Morse code uses short signals, called DITs, and long signals, called DAWs, in various combinations to encode letters, numbers, and other symbols. The DITs and the DAWs can be represented by long or short sounds, or blinking lights, or any other method of indicating two states. For example, this is the letter A, and this is the letter B, and here's Hello World. The interesting thing here is there are two things, a dit and a daw, in the con context of silence, to separate letters and words, to communicate. Braille uses a 2 by 3 grid containing various patterns of raised dots to encode letters, numbers, and other symbols. For example, this is letter A, and here's the letter B, and here's Hello World. Braille is used predominantly to allow blind people to communicate in written form. Interestingly, it was adapted from a similar system used by the French military to communicate on the battlefield without using sound or light that might give away their position to the enemy. So it doesn't have to be used exclusively by vision impaired. But that's a bit of a historical side note. The important thing for the purpose of this discussion is to note it uses either the presence or the absence of a raised dot, a bit of information in the context of other bits of information, the 2x3 grid, to convey more information. Binary number systems use just 0 and 1 to represent numbers. For example, this means 1, and this means 2, and this means 10. Computers use either the presence or the absence of a voltage to indicate either 0 or 1, and they build sequences of these up into numbers to represent symbols, numbers, and letters. So what is binary? Simply, binary is defined as something having two parts. Each of these systems we've talked about today use just two things within a context to encode information. Morse code uses sequences of dit and daw, Braille uses the absence or the presence of a dot within a grid, and binary numbers use 0 and 1 within a sequence. In future episodes in this series, I'll be discussing binary numbers in more depth, how to correlate them to the decimal system you're probably already familiar with, and how to perform mathematical operations on them. There's a playlist over here that will have new episodes added to it. And finally, thank you if you've already subscribed. You can configure YouTube to notify you when, you when new episodes are available. If you aren't subscribed and you want to get those notifications, be sure to subscribe. It's free and contains zero calories. Finally, if you're interested in this series, go ahead and hit the like button. It'll let me know that there's interest in it. Thanks for watching, and until next time, go make something. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just have fun.